What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, I promise I won't hold you long today, but I do got a jam-packed video, and I will keep it short. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Help this video get at least 1,000 likes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, on today, I'm loving on Terrence Butler. He texted me, guys. He sent me an email. He said, hey, coach, I've been following you for several months now and watching and paying attention to everything you say in your videos. And I will say it finally paid. You always push patience and everything is in the charts. And yes, it is. The video you posted on Wednesday, the 31st, made me realize that I was front running on all my trades. And at the moment, I stopped and I told myself that this next day, I was going to get out of my trades. I had win or lose and start free, my plan. And from the moment I woke up and drove to work, it just felt weird for some reason, but a good weird feeling. Follow this, guys. This is a very, very powerful testimony. He went on to say, the sun was bright and shining on me. Market open and I didn't panic. Just let it play out. Went to lunch. And the car in front of had a low tire, so I told her about it, and she paid it for and paid for my meal. So I did the same to the car behind me. The law of reciprocity, guys. Don't ever forget that. So fast forward to 250. A couple trades were looking good, so I let them ride. But I had a good feeling about the future. So I took a quick look at Meta and broke the candles down to the minute when I seen the 256 candle hit. I jumped in, not to mention they had earnings and that's risky as, as it is. But the story I seen the charts and the spirit of you and your teachings gave me the confidence that I made the right choice and I did. So thank you so much for everything you do and show us. You are truly an angel. From the moment I heard you speak in a video, I was hooked on every word you said. So hopefully you get this email. Once again, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I will always be grateful. Terrence, I can't say it enough, man. A major salute, but another powerful story, okay? I'm all about service. I'm all about being a blessing, and I can see that you were to the young lady with the low tire. She end up paying it for you. end up paying it back. Guys, it shows there's still some good people in this world, okay? But I just want to say major salute, guys. Again, it's a holistic thing, man. You can't just expect to hit on your trades, but you live a foul life. It don't work like that. You want to live right throughout your life, especially in private. Don't be a public success and a private failure, okay? You want to make sure you're living right, definitely behind the scenes when nobody else can't see you, okay? But Terrence, I just want to say, Major Salute, we're going to build on that, all right? Before we dive into the penny stocks on today, I want to put one particular new opportunity on your radar, okay? In case you guys are not in this already and you already know when I hit my home runs and or I hit my base hits, I deploy my money into income generating stocks, my dividend paying stocks for passive income and VG, ticker symbol VICI properties, sitting at $30.55 is new to the family, okay? Listen guys, like I do with everything else, I will build this out. I'm gonna be walking you through the 125 shares minimum to 1,000 shares just as a standard of how we set these plays up so that you guys know when we knock the plays out the park next week, this will be one of the ones that as a beneficiary, a recipient of some of those profits, okay, as we build this out to our 1,000 shares, okay? And listen, guys, if you don't have this, if you need a real estate play, if you need a good paying dividend stock and you don't have this one on your radar, please consider this one. But before you do anything, do your due diligence. Go ahead and look it up. See what they do. See all the buildings they own. See where they get it in at. And you will be blown away by what this company is for those of you that's unfamiliar with it, okay? Now, check this out, guys. SoFi, deliver a profit as promised. Is it time to buy? Shares of SoFi Technologies recently rocketed up in response to a glowing fourth quarter earnings report. The member-based consumer bank blew past expectations that were already high. All right. All the extra attention SoFi is getting lately has every investor who are still unfamiliar with the bank wondering if it's a smart stock to buy. 
to find out if SoFi is smart by, let's start looking at some of the recent performance in light of some opportunities and challenges that lie ahead. Wall Street expected 0, 0.0 per share in gap earnings during Q4. SoFi pleasantly surprised analysts with a gap net income that reached 48 million or 0, 0.02 per share. Looking out to the rest of 2024, SoFi expects U.S. gross domestic product GDP guys to contract unemployment to rise about 5% and four interest rates cuts to bring the federal funds rate down to 4.5% by the end of the year. With a less than terrific outlook for the economy in 2024, SoFi isn't expecting much bottom line growth in the near term. Management expects to earn between 0.07 and 0.08 per share this year on a gap basis. With a rapidly growing customer base, earnings growth is expected to accelerate after 2024. This is why we get in this now. This is why we do the work now, okay? In 2026, the company expects gas earnings to reach between 0.55 to 0.80 cent per share. Beyond 2026, management expects earnings to continue growing by about 20% to 25% per year. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why SoFi is on deck, okay? I've been, again, getting it in with you guys with this since the, with the, since the fours, fives, six, and we don't buy this above eight. And that's why today it is on our list. But this stock has doubled, this stock will double, but right now we're in a range. 650 to 10, 11 dollars, okay? And so when it's under seven or eight dollars, I want us to be loading up. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So Fi guys, ticker symbol SOFI is sitting at seven dollars and eighty cent. It was up 1.8% on the day. But check this out, guys. It has temporarily slipped down below $8. Below $8 is a buy zone, okay? If you don't have this, you need to get your 125 shares in route to 1,000 shares because once we get past the $10 and $11 resistance, guys, then we got $14 in our site, okay? And so again, I would love for you to make sure you're still building this out. Let me know down in the comments below how many you own so far, how many shares do you own, and what's your average cost. 650 or the $6 range to $7 range is a sweet area where you want to have bigger buys, okay? On the higher end of the range, you can you can dollar cost average, okay? On the lower end of this range, like $7, Okay, 7.30 and below, you can pick up the pace a little bit. And when you see the sixes, you load the boat. This has been range bound, going from $6 to $10, back and forth, back and forth. Again, it's been a huge money maker for us, especially for those that embrace rinsing and repeating, okay? That's what we're doing in this time frame as they prepare to break out. They just told you in 2026, 2025, 2026, they are taken off fully. But right now, the takeoff is going to be from here to 10 or 11. All right. You need to know these things in terms of levels and how to respect the levels. OK, you ride it from here to 10, 11. It's going to come back down to here, maybe sixes back to 10, 11. It's going to just keep being what we call range bound. But there's no reason you guys can't make a killing during that time, especially owning shares and plan it through options okay listen guys i just wanted to give you guys an update at my number one penny stock that's on my radar that's been crushing it for us but guess what we'll continue to crush it because unlike all the other risky stocks this is a profitable company and just like this is a profitable company guys check this one out palantir which was a penny stock we had this one back at eight dollars ticker symbol PLTR sitting at $17.25. They have earnings coming up. They will likely get busy and crush it. But on top of that, they too are a profitable company. So these are two of the newer, younger, faster growing companies that are already profitable. They're not unprofitable like Amazon was for 15, 20, 30 years. Nope, they already getting to the money. They're already hitting the metrics 
that that Wall Street and the analysts want to see. And so, guys, that only bodes well for those of us investors that has been in this from the start and been building out our empires in this as these plays gradually go higher okay listen man i just want to put these on your radar for today if you don't have them consider it if you have had them in the past and rolled it up and got out now was a good time a dollar cost average your way back in again good things are on the horizon for both of these particular stocks and both of these particular companies okay you can't go wrong investing in a good quality company palantir and sofi equates to both all right with that being said guys listen we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very if you consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace